We meet people every day, but we never expect the person we're talking to to be the extraordinary amongst the ordinary. In a society that idealizes conformity and loves the security of the status quo, you'd never think this teenage fella would run an up-and-coming startup that could change the world. My name is Shane Curran, I'm 18 years old and I run a company called Evervolt. Shane Curran is a winner of the BT Young Scientist 2017 and was named in Forbes 30 Under 30 for 2018 in, what was the category again? Youngest and Technology. His company Evervault has just completed Series C funding and is, wait, no, Shane, how do I phrase this? How about I say we're in the process of raising a seed round for some, from some of the world's best investors. This video documents the journey of Evervault so far and to see what we can learn from a young man who is making his mark at such a young age. Disclaimer, <laughs> this Shane Kern is not the goalkeeper for St. Bridges GAA Club. I've played with Frankie Doyle and he's just such a legend, isn't he? And what a day for our club and what a day for us coming. I first came across Shane in the Start Summit in September 2018. He was doing a talk in Dublin Castle, said hello to him. Hi, how are you? Thought nothing more of it, but got really interested when he was on Alex Pomodila's podcast. I've kind of been involved in the, the tech scene as well as the business scene for quite a few years now. The thing that piqued my interest was that this guy was making websites at six years of age. Uh, yeah, the first one I made was a website called the Bart Simpson Club. Set up like a whole membership system, all this sort of stuff, and printed out certificates for my friends. I even set up the whole kind of credit card infrastructure and let people pay for it. But it turns out that other six or seven year olds don't have credit cards. Shane learned coding not from Coder Dojo nor his school, but completely through the internet. He's self-taught and by the age of 13, he was able to code in the languages PHP, Java, Python, Ruby, Perl, and Bash. And that to me just sounds like a weird boy band. At the age of 13, Shane entered the BT Young Scientist for the first time with his project called Libramatic. It was a system for librarians to automatically scan books into their system without having to manually put in the title, authors, all that jazz into their computers. Although he only won a category prize that year, his project did garner national attention and he was not only on RTE, but he also pitched in the Junior's Dragon Den competition where Gavin Duffy actually wasn't allowed to properly invest in his company given that he was 13 years of age. But Shane really came to national attention when he won the BT Young Scientist in 2017 for his project called QCrypt. In essence, QCrypt is a, a computer software, a piece of computer software that I've built uh, for the purposes of storing secrets and the secrets are verifiably secure for life. QCrypt is a data storage system and it works on three levels. Number one, he's come up with this key exchange system that double encrypts data. Number two, the data is broken into shards in multiple locations across the world, which as I understand it means that there's not a single point of entry to get at the data. There has to be a certain amount of shards unlocked in all these different locations to actually get at the data. So he's basically kept things incredibly secret and incredibly secure. So we took this basis of QCrypt changed the name to Evervault, and that's what he's been working on for the last 18 months. Uh, it kind of spun out of research I was doing for the, the BT Young Scientist a couple of years ago. I was kind of working purely in the mathematics and kind of the software of keeping information secret for a long period of time. Um, but after winning that, there was a pretty large kind of, or, or significant press fallout. I woke up the next day with about 20 or 30 emails in my inbox from companies saying, we struggle to keep our, our customers' data safe. Can you build a product to help us? Traditionally, data privacy has kind of been focused on addressing one question, which is how do we protect the information that individuals give companies? Um, and on one hand, that's sort of a, a losing battle and uphill struggle because you've got people that still write their password under their computer keyboard. Um, oh, that's me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, everyone does it. <laughs> then on the other hand, you've kind of got more technical exploits and hacks, uh, like what's happening to companies like Facebook, Equifax, Uber. Um, the crux of that is that it's causing major financial um, brand damage to them as companies. So what we're doing is we're basically taking a step back and addressing another question, which is why do we need to give these companies our data at all? As soon as you give your information to one company, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Google, you don't know where that information went and it's effectively out of your control at that point. So we're building really, really simple developer tools for companies that build software that let them process personal data in a way um, that they don't have to see it, store it, or handle it. On top of all of this, Shane also studies business and law in UCD. And I wanted to know, is he going to stay in college, even though he's got all this business stuff at the side? I'm still going to try to keep it going, because um, I think it's a good thing to have on the side. Um, or not even on the side, it's a good thing to have in your life in general. But obviously it's going to be a lot more difficult when you've got a larger team to worry about, you have to worry about 
you know, paying for their salaries and making sure that they eat and have a place to live and all those sort of things. So there's a lot more responsibility. I guess May is a summer holiday in college as well, so that's a nice sort of nice few months off and you can kind of worry about it then. But Shane's going down, bitches. As I'm editing this, I'm realizing that Evervault has a lot more potential than just solving people's GDP or issues. It feels like all this news that we've been surrounded by when it comes to data security and data breaches, Evervault has the potential to solve all those problems. And as a company, we're trying to make data secure for centuries. So it's things like quantum computing that we're concerned about. So we're trying to isolate it and basically build a secure container that all this processing happens in so that there's no single point of failure and that there's um, no sort of single attack surface as well. Skype boots here for um, these are sort of like open ones that you can kind of hop into whenever you want. Do people ride on the walls? Um, they're not meant to, but they do. General co-working areas for companies that aren't big enough to have assigned areas. Coffee machine, oh, kitchenette, yeah. I drink quite a lot of it, so. Uh, Vince Cerf, basically the guy that invented the internet, visited here. Uh, a few other people did as well. Um, this is one of the things he said about Dogpatch. I'm not going to read it because I presume your viewers can read. But it's pretty cool. There's been some pretty interesting guests here. So this is basically a wall where a lot of the visitors that come sign their names. There hasn't been too many very famous people here. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you have to sign it now. I don't think you're allowed to sign it, but... And to Kenny, the former Taoiseach, Richard Bruton, at the time he was Minister for Enterprise, I think and just general kind of inspirational quotes in Latin, which are always kind of useful. We meet people every day, and you'd never suspect someone like Shane could potentially be the next Steve Jobs. Having spent a lot of time with him, I found him to be A, inspirational, B, down to earth, and C, a young man who's pursuing something not only he's good at, but he really enjoys. Now, I know that most of you don't know, I did ordinary level Irish for the Leaving Cert. I don't remember much, but one phrase I do remember is Mull an Oge August Chucky Sheet, which means praise the youth and they will flourish. Thanks, Miss Slattery. Yeah.